Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've missed you guys, even though it's only been like a couple of days since I last posted a video. Anyway, um, so this video is going to be my review on Big Little Lies, the book, and the HBO series. So first of all, let me start with the book. Um, I think I finished it the other night. Um, it was really good. I love this book. I can now say that so far in the year of 2017, this is my favorite book. And Leanne Moriarty has made it in the list of my favorite authors. And I want to purchase every other book that she has ever written and read it. And that's how good, like, I loved her writing and that's how good the story was. So I just want to say what the story is about, just in case, you know, anybody, anybody who doesn't know what it's about. So um, the story follows these three mothers and their children. Um, their children are in kindergarten and it basically just follows them, like their troubles and triumphs, what they go through, um, stuff like that, or what they've been through. Um, yeah, and then there is a murder that happens. So throughout the book, there are, um, what is it called? They're like being, what's the word? I can't think of the word. Um, they're being questioned on what happened at the trivia night. Um, there's this school trivia night that, um, this murder happens and stuff. So they're investigating, um, what happened that night. So throughout the book there is like blurbs from people. I hope it's focused on it, but there's the character's name and then what they said. I don't know if it's focused or not. There we go. So Miss Barnes and then what she said to the um, detective. And then this chapter is obviously two weeks before the trivia night. So it's just crazy. I, I loved that concept that throughout the book um, she did that. So here's another one. And then there's like a whole bunch of characters and what they said to the detectives. And most of it's really just gossip. So it's so funny. Um, this book is categorized as a thriller apparently, but it was more mysterious and humorous than thrilling. There was no thrilling aspects to this book at all. I thought that it was really funny, and there were times where it was like trying to figure out, like, I wonder who did that, I wonder if that person really did that, oh, I'm pretty sure that's not the person, or I definitely that's the person. <laughs> so it's kind of like reading the book, that's what you're like doing, and I was reading this book and I have had to talk to myself a couple of times to like... Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so hard for me to get my thoughts into words sometimes. But I was like, what? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And I love, love, love when books do that to me. So that was the book. I rated it five stars on Goodreads. Um, my Goodreads is linked to my YouTube account. If you guys click the Goodreads in my like banner, it'll take you straight there. Um, and you can look at the review. And then for the TV series, it was really good. I just finished it um, not too long ago before I started recording this video. Um, there are a quite a few things that are different. Um, like, um, Ziggy gets accused for bullying, um, and he is not the person who actually bullied the little girl. And then, um, and Ziggy is Jane's son. So they're in a coffee shop, and... Jane asks him to write down the name of the person but in the series she pulls up a picture of everybody on like her iPad or something and asks Ziggy to point them out that's one thing that is different and then the way the person died or got murdered is different from in the book um I'm not gonna say what happens because I just don't want to spoil anything but that's another thing that's different um and also Madeline only has two daughters in the series but in the book she has two daughters and a son so that's another thing that's different but of course you know with tv's adaptations and movies they do like tweak a little bit of things but for the most part the tv series is like spot on to the book um so yeah that's pretty much it i pretty much rate them both five stars um 
the same person who gets murdered in the book gets murdered in the series, so that's why I said they kept that. I was still surprised when I found out, like, who died in- when I found out who died in the book, I was like, well, I did not see that coming. And then when I saw it in the series just now, I was like, okay, I didn't think he was gonna die in that way. It was just crazy. And I know I just said he, so I kind of gave that part away. I'm sorry. So now you guys know it's a guy. But, I mean, who cares? I mean, there, you'll, if you watch the series or read the book, there's a lot of guys involved, too. So that really doesn't really give away anything. I would completely recommend this book to anybody, any and everybody. This book was amazing and fantastic. And it's been a really long time since I've read a book that has made me feel this way. Um, like in love with the book so much that I feel like I could reread this book a million times and not get tired of it. Um, like Speak by Lori House Anderson, I could read that book a million times. I've already read it like five or six times in my lifetime and every time I read it it's like I notice something that I didn't notice before so I, I like that book too. I would recommend that book too. Um, but this was just great and I think that's pretty much all I can say about that. Um, I'm trying to work on my reviews. Sometimes I don't know what to say or I can't think of what to say except this book was really good. I liked the writing style, the storyline was great, uh, and then I get stuck. <laughs> so I'm trying. If you have any suggestions on what else I should talk about when I do my reviews or how to improve my reviews, that would be greatly appreciated if you leave down in the comments below what I should do to improve that. Um, and also, let me know if you guys found the music in the background annoying or if you liked it because I'm trying this new thing where I play like mellow, like music in the background, not necessarily with lyrics, even though this is the um, Big Little Lies theme song in the series, which I'm going to link below in case you liked it or want to listen to it. <clears throat> so um, I really like it, so I downloaded it on my phone. He doesn't start singing to like the middle of the song, but I just wanted to know like if it bothered anybody because then I won't do it anymore in my videos. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being subscribed to me. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Thanks. Bye.